My name is Joe Sheehy. Um, I actually found out about the Sheep Society when I was a senior at the University of Arizona in 1970. And back then, the newspaper had an outdoor section. And there was an article in the outdoor section about an upcoming project that the Sheep Society was going to do in cooperation with the Arizona Game and Fish Department in the Ragged Top Mountains just northwest of here. So I thought, well, that'd be pretty cool to, to be involved with. I had uh, done a lot of observing and taken pictures of the, of the sheep and the Catalinas and thought, well, that would be a, a great organization to, to, to meet the people that were involved in. And, and kind of that's where my involvement in the uh, Arizona Desert Bighorn Sheep Society started. Right now, uh, I'm a past president, but uh, I'm kind of the Region 5 representative for the Sheep Society and uh, spend a lot of time monitoring the Catalina sheep as well as the sheep in 37A. About the Catalina sheep, I was reading a couple of the articles on your website. Um, you, you guys put in 31 sheep up there? Well, in, in in total, we've put 110 sheep in. Oh, okay. Wow. The, the first release was 31 sheep in 2013. Okay. Then how many? So have you? How many releases have you had? And how many? And then there was three more subsequent releases: 14, 15, and 16. Awesome. Okay. And how are those sheep doing? Uh, they seem to be doing fine. There are no longer any working collars left on on any of the sheep. We only have one ram, one sheep period, with a collar that uh, from the last re release that is still giving us a VHF signal, and that that signal is a low battery signal. So we know that collar is about ready to die. So when the battery goes dead, it has some sort of release mechanism and it'll fall off the animal? Well, the collar has its own separate release mechanism, yes. And it's programmed. And it's then programmed to fall off at a certain date. Tell, tell us about the water projects you guys do. We, uh, we just did, a matter of fact, we just did two of them in 37A. Uh, we did uh, a complete kind of a redo of a water uh, at the Wooden Ranch. We call it the Wooden Ranch catchment. But it was an old apron style catchment that was put in in the 60s and only had a 2,500 gallon storage capacity. So every, depending on the spring weather, but usually by mid-May it was dry. We couldn't get a water truck to it because the road was so bad. Uh, They'd have to put a 200 gallon tank in the back of a pickup and then fill it multiple times and, and, and bring it up there. Wow. So we, we uh, left that there, uh, resealed it, but then built uh, a new development right beside it that is, uh, has a 10,000 gallon storage capacity. So now we have two separate water systems there and we shouldn't have to revisit that that site for for uh any water hauling ever so is these water their water catchments so they're going to catch the rainwater and store them is that what it is yes there's the old one has a big triangle style apron on the ground where the water the rainwater is funneled in that in that apron to a storage tank uh, which goes into a, a trough and the the storage tank and the trough are leveled so if if the storage tank is half full the trough is half full uh, the new one has uh, four 2500 gallon storage tanks buried with an apron on top of those that goes into the storage tanks which go into a trough a new trough so what are some of the threats that the sheep face what's what what do they face as far as to their survival I, obviously well, they eat water certainly uh, 
uh, predation is, is a big threat. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how much of the history you have read about the Catalinas, but initially we had uh, some pretty bad luck with lion predation. Uh, and I'm sure that continues today, but I, I think we have the population to a point where the recruitment is, if not exceeding that, is keeping up with that. So, uh, and for those who don't understand that word, what does recruitment mean? Well, the lamb survival. Got it. So, uh, disease certainly uh, is always a concern. Uh, we've had some disease issues in the Catalinas. There's always the threat with, uh, we have people with, with pack goats and, and stuff like that, that, that insist on using the trails, even though in the, in the bighorn sheep management area, uh, it's prohibited. Uh, but the, the biggest threat, in my opinion, to the, to especially a, a newly transplanted sheep in the, in the Catalinas was certainly mountain lions. Uh, success is, is in the number of sheep in, in, in the state. Uh, you know, we promote the, the auction and rifle tags, which, which all that money goes into the fund that, that's used for sheep management in the state. And, and uh, you know, that, that, that's been a tremendous success. And, and certainly the, the water developments that, that we have, um, you know, developed since 1967, you know, have, have, I think have played a critical role in, in the sheep populations in Arizona increasing and being able to take those source populations and put, put them in mountain ranges that historically had sheep but, but didn't anymore and now are thriving. Um, so how, but how big is your group? How many members do you have? There's right around a thousand members. Typically your work projects that you have, how many volunteers show up? Typically on a project, we'll have 40 to 50 volunteers show up. And I would imagine they have to be somewhat in shape for the terrain that they're traversing. Yeah, some of the projects are actually some of the projects we, we fly to with a helicopter. And so, yeah. That, well, that's know. cool. <laughs> you have any new projects coming up or what are you guys hoping to do this later this year? Hopefully, uh, we just, we got our fundraiser in just under the wire. Um, uh, if, if it was a week later, I'm sure we, we wouldn't have had it. But, uh, you know, that's our big source of revenue for the, for the year and, and the, the monies that, that go to, to various projects and, and various funding sources uh, that the Sheep Society is involved with. We still have a project scheduled up on Strip, up in the Kaibab, um, but I, you know, we're waiting to see if right. what we're going to do with that. But that, that would be the, the, the last project of, of the year. I want to thank Joe Sheehy and Arizona Desert Bighorn Sheep Society for the interview and learning all about their organization. I have on the screen uh, their website and membership with them is only $50 a year. Thanks again, and I hope you enjoyed Be Outdoors Arizona's episode of the Desert Bighorn Sheep Society.